I want you hitting more fairways and I want you hitting more drives. So with the driver, the big dog in play. This simple drill is gonna help you hit more shots like this and a lot less shots like this. Now I want you to start thinking of your golf swing as much as you can as a chain reaction. So what I mean by that, whatever you put in at the beginning from setup to the first movements away as you take it away from the ball as you start your backswing, it starts setting a theme of consistency, tragedy, uh, difficultness, easiness. Like it sets the theme up for everything. This is a really simple golf lesson for all golfers from the world's best to amateurs, something they all think about. And even though you will see some golf swing takeaways that are a little bit funky, they're managed by better players. Often for the amateurs, they're not skilled enough to always manage them. So the more kind of textbooky, for want of a better word, we can make these movements, often the more consistent the golfer is. So this simple drill is gonna allow you to get into first parallel. So you'll take away position in a position that it's gonna set a thing for a better backswing, downswing, impact, follow through, and then hopefully resulting tee shots. Because we see so much go wrong in these first stages that isn't recovered as golfers hits, which is why you'll see funny over the top movements, drop behinds, thrust with hips, level shoulder turns. It's all reacting, because it's a chain reaction, to what's gone before. Now, when I say this is a simple golf swing tip, this is crazy simple. So it's gonna come in two folds. Fold number one is you're gonna set up to the ball. Just grab your driver, set up to your shot. Next time you're at the range, try and be as neutral as you can with your setup. And all I want you to do is move the club back so it's behind your trail foot. So like two club head heads uh, behind trail foot. Pick it slightly up in the air. So if it's down on the ground, that's gonna be very stretched because you can imagine at this part of the swing, which we're gonna talk about here, that club has already got into the air slightly. But what I want you to do is get your set up position as if there was a ball there. So in effect, the club face, the handle up to the shoulders. This is all kind of the set up position I would be in if I just turned and faced that ball. So to this camera here, hopefully it's a bit more in line. If I get to here, you're gonna see that this is actually my set up position that I'm getting into in this first stage. So I'm gonna address, take it to this first position, not even gonna swing it there. I'm literally just gonna kind of put it there, club slightly be in the air. Face is pointing slightly out to the right because obviously it's rotating in line with hands, in line with shoulders, relationship very similar to this. And then from here, all I'm going to do is just rotate my hips and my upper body slightly, let my trail arm just slightly fold, and you're going to see these kind of textbook takeaway positions. So that's stage one. It's that simple. We're literally going to put it into this first stage and then rotate. And hopefully, to start us off, this is showing you how much of a chain reaction this is. Because most golfers, the ones who are kind of getting in these funky takeaway positions that you see, they are getting it wrong literally before they start. So their agenda to get from A to B, if this is B here, is all ready to go around the houses to try and get there. By setting people at that first kind of three, four foot stage off on a good path, chain reaction. It just sets up the thing for a better movement. So stage one complete, gonna work it into a shot to see what it does. So I'm just gonna pop it here, do a couple of demos to feel this kind of takeaway position and then work those ideas into a drive. And I'll take that one all day long. This is a very narrow hole we're on. I've chosen the wrong hole to film this on. Now that will seem simple. Thanks, Mark, I'll do that and I'm a better golfer. Now, where practicing a good solid move can help lots of golfers, it's understanding the complexities of the simple golf swing action that actually make you better. This is the real trick. So using this idea now with this very basic action, we need to start practicing it wrong. Yeah wrong so you can find out what side of wrong you are so you can work those feelings into making it more consistent let me show you what i mean so same ideas we're going to pop it here so this is your textbook position where everything's in line and then you're just going to rotate and we think yeah that's where we want to be but where are you so what you're going to do is you're going to pop it to this position so all in a line i'm basically in my setup position but just with the club up in the air slightly but what i'm going to do is rotate the club in my hands not my grip i'm going to rotate the club in my grip so the face points out at this back wall now. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of a turn and think, oh, look at that face. And then I'm gonna hit a bit of a shot. And I'm gonna think, oh, hello. I recognize that one. <laughs> 
Then we're gonna try this way. Set up, put myself into that position, rotate the club in my grip, so not my grip, just so that face is now facing back up to the ball, so more closed. And then turn, I'm gonna think, oh yeah, that's pointing a long way down at the ground, and then I'm gonna commit to that and think, oh, hello. The low duck hook, not going very far off the tee. I recognise that shot. And you're going to start to learn your patterns. So if you do the one where the face is more up to the sky and you think, yeah, that's more my pattern, then for you, when you do this drill, you might actually turn the face slightly down to the ground. So a fraction, so turn it in your grip, making your grip feel maybe a little bit stronger. And you're thinking, okay, yeah, that's the position I want to hit because I might want to be trying to start them down the right. Oh, I didn't quite draw, but it certainly didn't cut and make them not go off to the right. If I caught that slightly more in the middle, it would have just drawn. I think you get where I'm going and now vice versa. If you're someone in lots of duck hooks, you'll get to that first position, turn the club up to the sky and try it and work that into your practice because me giving you simple golf drills is great and you love them because they're simple. Oh, I can take that to the range, but they're placebo if you don't learn the ins and outs of them. Most golf pros on this funny place we call YouTube now where golf pros have sold any kind of decency to giving you good information, unfortunately. It's about giving you quick, easy fixes rather than actually allowing you to learn the patterns. And the best students who learn the best over time and continue to improve are the ones who learn their patterns from a drill, not just the ones who do the simple drill, play good for two rounds and then just go straight back to their normal rubbish. And as you probably are thinking, you're thinking, yeah, hang on, that's what I do. And you can add a few variations to this. You could take this to the first parallel and then you could add an angle. So I've added an angle now to which would be kind of here at impact at this point and think, well, okay, what's that takeaway? Oh yeah, look, that's the one where it starts getting behind me early, which I see when I want to be getting more here. So again, having this checkpoint, basically your setup position slightly up in the air, just behind the ball, and then just slightly rotating. It's going to give you a good marker of where some better shots might be. And you can work in the variations of face a little bit more to you. Other way you could do it, you could get here at this angle. See where this one's going? Who hasn't seen these kind of impacts? At down at impact and just rotate and that's the one where it's stuffed way out in front of you and what we see from lots of amateurs if you do this let's say we're going to put this angle in then what we see as well is the club face rolling and then we start seeing these ones like these ones are the proper really fun look how much how funky my movement has to get to try and find that target and i'm barely getting over the water i love this drill and method of learning to try and work out why a drill was helping you to give you some longevity to your shots. It's really gonna help you improve your driver and understanding how much of a chain reaction it is, is something that's absolutely gonna change the way you think about your golf swing. Obviously, I'm not saying you need to hit an exact position here. There's variations in this position, but this standard, this neutral, along with you practicing the variations is what allows you to find your functional variation all combined and packaged up as a simple golf swing tip. Now, if you want to find out how to hit more drives down narrow fairways with distance like that, that's not bad. This video is really going to help you and continue this idea a little bit more on to help you just perfect your golf swing as much as possible.